What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Moon Rocks Chop Shop. Now, while there is a lot of things I love about the Acura Integra Type S, there's a bunch of things that I actually hate. So just figured I'd do this video for anybody looking into this car and wanted to know like the cons first, because uh, I know a lot of people like the bad news before the good news. So that's what this video is about. So don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and let's go. This is going to be a 10 things that I hate about the Type S, uh, the Integra Type S, of course. Uh, and I decided to do this video because there's certain things that I really, really can't stand that they did with this Integra Type S, um, which I'll get into now. Um, so number one, you know, I think this may be one of my biggest gripes with this thing, but it's the storage space, man. Um, storage space is just not that great uh, and the storage that they do give you it's just small um, I noticed in the FK8s and the previous generation Civics this, they have much more storage and I, although I can appreciate how they simplified the car um, making everything more streamlined looking um, it's just not the best for storage like as you can see the door pockets are just like small can't even fit a bottle in there the center console is you know just not that spacious it's it, and it looks a lot bigger from outside but then when you open it up it's just small you know from the inside there's, there's a good amount of depth i guess but just not too wide which which kind of sucks i only have to keep a couple of things in there like my wallet cologne maybe i shouldn't be saying this on camera <laughs> but you know just things like that and you can find this throughout all the door pockets even in the rear it's pretty small um the glove compartment also small i didn't really get a picture or, ca or camera or i'm uh, sorry video of that but it's small man all i have in there is my maintenance journals my second thing that i hate about this car and i'm sure this is a thing between all the integra owners um but it's the seats you know I like the seats well enough they're actually really comfortable and they hold me in place decent enough um, but just I think a car like this should have came with some kind of bucket seats you know and, and comparatively to a type R those those seats are so cool they're so comfortable they keep you in place and you know you can't even say that they did it for the luxury aspect right because they could have threw some leather on those seats um, and then the as far as the power seat so you only get one power seat in the integra type s the the passenger seat is not power which in actuality i don't really like the power seats i think i would rather have a manual seat because the, the seats just move really slow when you're adjusting them and side note to that the car doesn't have um memory seats which you know i'll deal with that i'm the only one that drives a car so not a big deal for me but it would have been a nice option to have memory seats you know but all in all they could have definitely upgraded the seats um one of the one of the biggest complaints i have with the type s for sure uh the next point is and i don't know if people feel the same way about this but power folding mirrors what would have been so hard in just putting power folding mirrors on an Acura Integra Type S? It's 2024 Acura. You know, they had that technology way back in the 90s on Civics in Japan. Why we couldn't get it on a 2024 Acura Integra Type S, a premium Integra, no power folding mirrors? And you know, I just think if it had power folding mirrors, it would just look so cool. The car, the car would 
vehicle just looks so cool parked it already looks cool but you know power folded mirrors would have added an extra edge to it i think um so yeah big gripe for me well, maybe not a big gripe but just something it should have added i think for, at this price point Okay, my next issue, the lack of charge ports in this car. This car only has two charge ports, one USB-C and one USB-A. And it has a 12 volt outlet, which I guess you can put, add, you know, like a little uh, charge port thing there. But it's like, do I have to? Not even any charge ports in the back. Uh, and on a side note, no AC vents in the back, which to me isn't the biggest deal but at least put some charge ports in the back you know come on guys like only two charge ports in here and while the wireless charger is okay um you know what i have noticed since my phone is always connected to apple play um the phone doesn't charge as well on the wireless charging pad while my phone is connected to apple carplay but let's say somebody else is in the car i'll put their phone on the charge pad and it charges relatively quickly at least quicker than mine and i think that has something to do with it being connected to the car um so yeah but anyways yeah more charge push would have been nicer now guys this is a, a thing where it just kind of annoys me but the trunk release right there's no trunk release in the car and coming from a crz i used to have a crz hybrid those cars also didn't really come with a trunk release inside the car so what would happen is if your battery died or something happened like that was on an electronic thing there's no way to manually release the trunk same thing on this car while there is buttons available there's like spaces where they could have put a trunk release button i don't know why they didn't the key fob also it doesn't do anything uh for the trunk release it just unlocks the trunk i guess you know but how cool would it have been if you hold the key fob the trunk release on the key fob and it pops open the trunk you know like all the way up that would have been a nice touch on a acura product uh at a sixty thousand dollar price point you know after taxes and all that would have been nice all i'm saying my number six issue which i am working to address as we speak is the piano black center console i think it looks cool enough and i think it actually adds some like flavor to the car it being piano black but it's just it just gets dirty fast um it gets scratched up really easy i don't know if the, you can see in the video but there's very micro scratches on there um and i i keep very good care of the car i make sure that there's nothing like that can scratch it up like my bag or my keys i never put them around that piano black area but even still you can to the eye you can see some piano black uh scratches i don't know if you can pick it up in the video but it, it, they're there so yeah that would be my number six problem that i have with the car all right number seven this freaking visor how do you put a what is this called like a fluorescent light now is this is not fluorescent right what, what is it just just an old school light on this visor why didn't you just put an led it makes the it car just, look cheap um and i think they cheaped out in an area where you know I, a person like me would have really appreciated if that did have an led so you know whatever uh, i'll just change it out later but should have been there from factory in my opinion now number eight my number eight right with the car is this sunglass holder um it doesn't rattle just by itself but if i put my sunglasses in there it's gonna rattle and i've tried with different sunglasses i know you guys only see me with these sunglasses but it's because they're my favorites uh they're blenders by the way but um i have other pairs of sunglasses that i tried putting them in there and it just rattles and you know it's annoying i'm a guy that picks up on i might be autistic or something because i pick up on little micro sounds and things like that and it just like gets me like bah, 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 bah. gets me like on edge and shit so yeah big problem for me um but yeah they should have had some padding in there did something i'm gonna figure something out to make that thing stop rattling but yeah now number nine number nine is an issue for me because i did buy an accurate product and although i knew it didn't have it it is a luxury product 
and it, almost every luxury car uh, sport even a sport luxury like this one is that is in this segment has this feature while this one doesn't it really annoys me but that will be the ventilated seats they put no ventilated seats in this car can you imagine putting some ventilated seats in this car how amazing it would have been the TLX Type S has them and I you know I fell in love with it on the TLX Type S just because it's you know I play basketball I come back in the car turn on the ventilator seats you know get some air in my balls you know amazing feeling guys amazing feeling um, just sucks that they don't have it and again at this price point uh, in the segment almost every single competitor has it so yeah kind of annoying it doesn't have it but that would be my number nine hated thing on this car now number 10 number 10 is one of my biggest annoyances which it's, it has to do with the tech i don't feel like it works as it should so meaning when let's say i want to turn off the rev match i have to park the car put the brake on go into the settings and then turn the rev match on or off whichever whatever i want um i just think like it shouldn't have been a thing that you have to work so hard at or like be such an inconvenience to get done they should have just made it a thing you know like just I, I can understand like the car not moving but having to put the brake on and all that other stuff just a little bit annoying and then uh, along with that is the driver assist um, it's the driver assist features some of them for example the forward collision I think that's a dangerous thing um, forward collision for guys like the drive like me probably more dangerous to have it than to not have it to me forward collision is for like lazy people that really don't pay attention to the road I'm a guy that really pays attention to the road I really enjoy driving and I really do have spirited drives so for a guy like me forward collision mitigation and some of these other uh, features are more dangerous for me you know um, and so when you turn it off you it, it won't stay turned off it, as soon as you get out of the car you turn off the car get out of the car you come back in you turn it on it'll be back on super annoying um, and then there is a kind of quicker way around it which you turn off the traction control once you turn off the traction control it'll be um, off you know you don't have to go through that screen to turn it off on the dashboard you could just turn off the traction control and it'll be off but you know I don't think that's convenient either so just another thing that kind of sucks for me um, and yeah there's other little pieces of tech that kind of don't work how I want them to work um, I'm probably forgetting at the moment oh another thing Apple play you can't quickly disconnect Apple play um, it's just like you have to go through the screens to disconnect it again another thing that they should have had a quick disconnect feature unless i'm doing something wrong maybe somebody can tell me if they know and that goes for all this stuff if you know or uh, maybe you can tell me and uh i can you know be happier <laughs> but anyways guys i say all that to say this these are some of the issues that i have with the car but it's a great car still i love the car it i i love it more than i hate it um I shouldn't even say hate it's just things that I think the car should have had and kind of annoy me that it doesn't have but that's all it is I still really love the car um I love the seats I love I love everything about it guys so I don't want you to get it confused I don't regret it at all I love the car but I just figured that these are some things that if you are looking into the car you might want to know or even if the uh, other type s owners I, I would like to know if you guys feel the same you know, some of these things, uh, I want to know how the community feels. And maybe we can come up with some solutions on the fly, you know. Especially for things like, something, get, get something creative like the ventilated seats. I got some ideas for that. I don't know how far I'll go with that. But, you know, maybe we'll come up with some solutions together. Um, but, yeah, guys. So, that's going to be it for this video. Um, I appreciate everybody for tuning in. If you stayed this far, thank you. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.